Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a, well, let's just call it a bit of a, a sad news morning video uh, that I really didn't want to be bringing to the channel this morning. Unfortunately, you may or may not know, the Central Pier had a fire in the night. Um, I can show you right there where the fire was. Now, originally, whilst looking at the pier, it didn't look like it affected much of the uh, area, as you can see where the burnt outside is, which is a storage unit. However, the whole building of the waltzers has been destroyed. That is potentially a loss of a set of waltzers. And if you've seen our channel, that is a big deal to us. Uh, we was literally on there a week ago uh, where we've actually done a video of those waltzers. Now, next to that ride, you can see there's another ride that hasn't got its roof on, which thankfully is probably a good thing they took that off the other day. Uh, but it does look like it has slightly affected their um, Matterhorn Flying Bob ride. I can't see from here, unfortunately, the tide is in and the firefighters are working tirelessly uh, on the pier right now to make sure everything is safe uh, and structurally sound as well. It looks like the pier is in, still in good condition for standing. Uh, so that's one good thing to hear about because the last thing you want to do is lose a pier in, in Blackpool. Um, but we have lost at the moment um, a set of waltzers, which is really, really bad news to bring this morning. Um, also, I do apologize if you hear wind. Um, at the front of the uh, central pier, there's a lot of activity with fire engines and stuff around here. This area was all taped off. Uh, but it's all open now for the public to come down. In fact, the tape is still actually up over there, uh, just on the side, but you know, publicly can walk across here. The tide is in, so there's no danger to anyone near the pier. Uh, it's just sad, really sad news to bring this morning that the pier here in, Cent in Blackpool had had a fire last night. Um, you know, let's not speculate anything like insurance jobs, the pier is old, um, it's a storage area that looks like that's been caught and probably started it. Uh, also the wind is coming off the sea, which then obviously will affect the wood work of the uh, waltzers and they will catch very well, as, as we can see there. Uh, but the rest of the pier, looking fine. Uh, it's not affected the big wheel uh, or anything around that area. It has just affected there. There is an arcade next to it, um, which you don't normally see from here. It has the words well or W-E-L. Um, it doesn't look like it's affected the signage because there's no black marks or anything on it um, from, from the fire. So it looks like the arcade building next to it is completely fine and beyond there. Um, Obviously, we can't see further back because of the building where the fire was, uh, but it does look like it's just that area there that it's affected. Um, it probably will have affected the boarding underneath, but that what can easily be replaced. What can't be replaced and looking like it is the, um, the ride that was there, uh, which is really sad news to bring this morning. Uh, so, unfortunately, not... not the news we would like to bring to you on YouTube this morning uh, on our channel. Um, I found out about eight this morning, but <laughs> came straight down to have a look at the damage and hoped for the best. And looking at it, it's not too bad. Uh, but like I say, we have uh, lost something there. Um, so yeah, sad to sad to see this. But we hope. Uh, the pier is likely to be closed today uh, and maybe for a few days. Uh, when they do reopen the pier, that area is going to be cornered off and they're one of the best waltzers in the northwest as well. And we literally had a debate. In fact, the video for the South Pier is coming out on Saturday, uh, which is tomorrow. Uh, we had a debate of which waltzers are the best. And you can watch the, our... Um, video of Central Pier if you wish to see those waltzes as we went on them uh, there with with Theo uh, it's just really sad to bring you this news this morning and there we see 
front of Central Pier, this is all cornered off. Uh, firefighters are still here, there's actually quite a few fire engines here uh, looking after the pier itself. We're going to just take a look on the other side, make sure nothing has been affected that side as well. Uh, this is likely to be here for the rest of the day. So uh, there won't be any central pier for today and unlikely for the weekend as well, which is really sad to see here this morning. This is the weather, by the way, if you come in here. Uh, it's uh, potentially going to get a bit better as well, the weather. Not too bad, but yes. We'll just take a look on the other side and make sure everything is sound on there. Oh, we can smell it here. The wind is coming directly off the pier from this angle here. You can, you can still smell the uh, burning. So they have gained control, as you can see, there's no fire at the moment, but obviously um, there will be a lot of heat around that area. Uh, but all this side is completely fine, which is uh, good news there. So nothing else has been affected if we lost the big wheel. That would have been big news here. Uh, but let's, uh, let's be uh, thankful that that's not happened, right? Well, there we go. Like I say, you can smell it here. Um, that's the direction of the wind coming from that direction there. We could have lost a lot more. And we have to be thankful for the fire service that we have here that have been working tirelessly through the night to bring under control and all all credit to these guys that are still here now uh, working to uh, bring bring the uh, pier back to safety well that's it thank you for joining us it's not an update i wanted to bring this morning uh, but it is there uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, we'll see you soon take care